In this video, we'll look at the number of valence electrons for NH3 ammonia. We'll also look at the Lewis structure and the molecular geometry. To count the valence electrons, here we have the periodic table, and for each group we've listed the number of valence electrons. Group 1, all of these have one valence electron. Group 2, two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals here, but group 13, sometimes called 3A, has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So to count the valence electrons for NH3, ammonia, we find nitrogen. Nitrogen right here, group 15, it has five valence electrons. And then hydrogen over here in group one, it has one valence electron. We have these three hydrogens. Multiply that together, we get five plus three, eight total valence electrons for the NH3 molecule. Let's write the Lewis structure. So we have a total of eight valence electrons for NH3. We'll put nitrogen in the center, and then we'll put three hydrogen atoms around that. We'll put two between atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond between the nitrogen and the hydrogen. And then we'll put the last two up top here on the nitrogen. This will be our lone pair. And we've used two, four, six, eight, all eight valence electrons. The nitrogen has eight. That's an octet. Hydrogen only needs two, so the hydrogens are satisfied as well. So this is the Lewis structure for NH3. The molecular geometry, that would look like this. So the purple, that'll be that central nitrogen atom. We have three hydrogen atoms, all single bonded. One, two, three. You see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Then we're going to put that lone pair on, put that in the middle. That pushes everything down, and that gives us a molecular geometry of trigonal pyramidal. The lone pair here pushes down. It repels a bit more than these hydrogen atoms. That's why we get this pyramidal shape. The ideal bond angle would be 109.5, but because of this lone pair, about 107. Back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, NH3 ammonia has eight valence electrons. We've distributed those around that central nitrogen, made sure hydrogen, each one had two. This is our Lewis structure for NH3. And we looked at the molecular geometry which is trigonal pyramidal. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.